1438, John Brome, a lawyer and under-treasurer for England, purchased the Baddersley Clinton estate. The Bromes were a wealthy landowning family and John Brome constructed the manor house on the site. Brome supported the losing side in the War of the Roses and was stripped of his court appointments. He was also later to suffer from financial difficulties due to fines and penalties from not attending Sunday Mass. He subsequently quarrelled with John Hurtill, the steward of the Kingmaker and Earl of Warwick, over a mortgage and in 1468 was murdered by him in the porch of the Whitefriars Church in London. This was not to be the only account of murder associated with the Bromes family. Nicholas, John Brome's second son, avenged his father's murder by killing Hartle in a duel in 1471. He received a lenient sentence and was ordered to pay for a priest to say daily prayers for the souls of both his father and John Hurtle and pay Hurtle's widow 33 shillings and 4 pence. Nicholas eventually inherited Baddersley on his mother's death in 1483 along with the right to choose the parish priest and in 1478 he appointed William Foster to the position. Seven years later, Nicholas returned home unexpectedly to find Foster in Baddeley's parlour, stroking his wife under her chin. In a fit of rage, he drew his sword and killed the priest. Once again, he received a meagre sentence, and his penance was to raise the height of the adjacent church as well as building the Tower of Packwood Church. The two towers became collectively known as the Towers of Atonement. The house from this period was equipped with gun ports and probably a drawbridge over the moat. When Nicholas Brome died in 1517, the house passed to his daughter, who in 1500 had married Sir Edward Ferrers, the Sheriff of Warwickshire. The house remained in the Ferrers family until 1940, when it was purchased by Thomas Walker, a relative of the family who later changed his name to Ferrers. His son, who inherited it in 1970, sold the estate ten years later to the National Trust, who manage it to this day. Like many other members of the Warwickshire gentry, the Ferrers were Roman Catholic recusants, and after the Reformation they sheltered Catholic priests who were under threat of a death sentence if discovered. They made special arrangements to hide and protect them, building several priest holes and secret passages to hide them in the event of a search by the authorities. One such priest hole was in the roof and is reputed to hold six people. A second is hidden in an old privy where fugitives were able to slide down a rope from the first floor through the old guard robe shaft into the house's sewers which ran the length of the building. The priest holes are said to have been built by St Nicholas Owen, a lay brother of the Jesuits, who constructed many masterful hides. Unfortunately, he was eventually captured and tortured to death by the Protestant English government. There is a third space off the moat room, a small and simple room with a door hidden in the wooden panelling, but there's no reasonable evidence that this was ever used as a hide. The priest holes came into use at least once when in 1591 a conference of Jesuit priests were raided by local authorities, but the hides proved effective and no one was caught. Throughout the history of the estate, the women at Baddersley have accomplished much and often surpassed the achievements of the men. In 1824, Henrietta Georgina Maria Ironmonger came out by being presented at court to the King and Queen. During a debutante's ball, she met Sir William Chatterton, many years her senior, whom she married when she was just 17. They were together for 31 years before Sir William passed away in 1855. Two years later, Georgina began to entertain again and accompanied by her niece, Rebecca, attended many parties, concerts and other social occasions. It was a private concert that Georgina first met Edward Deering and they continued to meet at other events accompanied by Rebecca. Georgina was now 53, Rebecca 29 and Edward Deering 33. Edward went to Georgina with the intention to ask her permission to marry Rebecca, but Georgina 
being supposedly hard of hearing, misheard his proposal, thinking it was intended for herself, and accepted. Edward, being an honourable man, acknowledged the situation and married her. The pair now became a trio, which Rebecca christened the Three Little Bears. In 1867, Rebecca, then aged 37, married Marmion Edward Ferrers of Baddersley Clinton, described in the Catholic newspaper, the tablet, as a genuine type of old English squire, open-handed and kind-hearted and generous to excess. Georgina and Edward Deering moved to Baddersley two years later to join the couple. The four became known as the Quartet and immersed themselves in the arts, writing, poetry, fine art and music, as well as the restoration and upkeep of the house and estate. This idyllic life of the quartet had only lasted for seven years when Georgina died, followed eight years later by the death of Marmion. Georgina had left money in trust for Rebecca and Marmion had left all he owned together with the tenancy of the house until she died. Rebecca and Edward remained at Baddersley, so you can guess what came next. It wasn't socially acceptable for the two people to live alone or married so a local priest came to stay for 13 months until, still in mourning clothes, they were married. In 1986, a number of exterior and interior shots of Baddersley Clinton were used by Granada Television for its Sherlock Holmes series in the episode The Adventure of Musgrave Ritual. And in October 2016, the house was the venue for BBC One's Antiques Roadshow. Today, the Grade 1 listed building and the Baddersley Clinton Estate Scheduled Ancient Monument are open to the public and the visitors to the National Trust property can explore its rooms, gardens and the beautiful surrounding landscape, getting a glimpse into the history of the property and the fascinating lives of its former inhabitants. <laughs>